Run back, bro. Run back. Oh, run, bro. Run, 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 run. Run, run, run. run, run, run. In the ultimate turf war, two of the most dangerous reptiles duel for control of the swamp. Will the crocodile crush the competition? Or will the alligator defend to the end? See which reptile reigns. It's crocodile versus alligator. The blazing sun has finally set and our competitors are both in the mood for an evening hunt. Unfortunately, the alligator didn't get the memo. This spot's taken. Camouflaged in the murky water, the crocodile watches in stony silence. He can't believe the alligator's audacity, but these two don't usually cross paths. It's time for a turf war. The croc isn't wasting any time. As the alligator passes, the crocodile lunges, leaping out of the water for maximum shock factor. Surprised, the alligator stumbles, slamming under the water. First, let's look at the colossal crocodile. It's one of nature's deadliest predators. Crocodiles measure seven meters in length and can weigh over 454 kilograms. With a lifespan of 70 to 100 years and fossils dating back 110 million years, it's safe to say that this is one resilient reptile. Crocs like warmer climates and live in the Americas, Africa, Asia, and Australia. Swimming in the open ocean or fast-moving rivers, these reptiles have a gland on their tongues that expels excess salt and allows them to live in salt water. Crocs have a conical V-shaped snout with sharp teeth designed for ripping and tearing. They're gray, green, and brown to blend into their environment. Saltwater crocs also have specialized peripheral vision, which scatters light and helps them see better underwater. Crocodiles are fearless. They hunt big game like buffaloes and hippos and even fight lions for fun. This competitor doesn't need a reason to argue. He just feels like it. And the scariest stat is that these beasts kill 1,000 humans each year. Not to mention other deaths that go unrecorded. Uh, you can blame the Nile crocodile for the majority of cases. But what happens when the croc picks on something that's roughly his size? The alligator thrashes, struggling against his opponent. The croc has the gator in his jaws, but he hasn't bitten down just yet. If the gator can escape the croc's lethal bite, he may stand a chance of surviving. Mustering his brute strength, the alligator pushes back hard, attempting to flip the croc under the water. Since the second challenger is regularly mistaken for his opponent, chances are he's pretty threatening too. Measuring more than four meters from nose to tail and weighing up to 454 kilograms, the alligator is a beast in its own right. Hailing from North and South America, this famous reptile prefers freshwater swamps and marshes and can survive the colder temperatures in places like North Carolina. Alligators' ancestors originated in the late Cretaceous period, at least 66 million years ago. These fearsome reptiles have a broad, flat, U-shaped snout and a mighty bite force of 17,237 kilopascals. Using their powerful cone-shaped teeth, the alligator crushes its prey rather than tearing it apart. Alligators aren't overly aggressive and they have no thirst for killing. They feed on small mammals, fish, and other reptiles, but they will fight and even cannibalize a fellow gator that gets in their way. When they interact with humans, alligators typically avoid conflict unless we provoke them or they're protecting their eggs. 
this fighter will need to dial up his fury for tonight's match. The crocodile chomps down on the alligator's head. The alligator struggles, bravely using his tail as he attempts to regain his balance. He knows every trick in the book, and he has a sinking feeling that the crocodile is gearing up to use his most fearsome move of all. Will the gator be able to roll with the croc's punches? If the crocodile wants to secure the win, he'll have to use his signature move, the death roll. Brutal and lethal, crocodiles will bite to secure an attacker or prey. Then, the croc holds the victim close and rolls in the water, rapidly gaining momentum. The force is enough to crush bones and pull limbs from their sockets. But the croc isn't the only one with this show-stopping skill. Alligators also use the death roll, especially when fighting their own kind. It's possible this gator can give the croc a taste of his own medicine. With a whopping bite force of 25,510 kilopascals, the croc clamps down even harder on the gator, holding him steady. And while both competitors can hold their breath for hours under the water, the smaller and less aggressive alligator doesn't stand a chance. They may be lookalikes, but there's no mistaking tonight's champion. The Crocodile wins! Are you looking for more non-stop croc action? Well, next up, the Crocodile takes on another territorial titan, the Hippo. We'll see who wins on another round of Versus.